Welcome to RVN Travel Adventures. This is Jesus Manuel Menegarza. It's the tail end of September. That means for me, October, November is prime uh, camping weather here in the great state of Texas. So I'm back at the old uh, lot where my uh, RV is stored. I'm gonna show you what I've, you know, upgraded, fixed, checked out, and uh, have plans to uh, also <laughs> fix it. Because as we all know, uh, owning an RV is a constant, constant uh, reminder that things in the RV world aren't perfect. You have to fix them, repair them, amend them, and adjust them. So let me turn around the camera. Checked out my pass-through. Everything's copacetic. And uh, right here, I have my new dual stage uh, water filtration system. It didn't fit in the box because of this right here, the original box, my quick connect. Yeah, but right now I have that in this box that I bought at the old Home Depot and it's working out pretty good. It's a bit flimsier than some of the other boxes, but it should work. So I'm storing it in this box and then flip it around when I'm using it and I'll place this on top, uh, the water filtration system. And the, and the various hoses, so that should work out. So this is my pass through, it's pretty well loaded with odds and ends. What do you think? There's my uh, Hallowview uh, side marker cameras, very nice side marker cameras, I highly recommend them. Again, Hallowview, H-A-L-O, view. And I have also the backup observation cameras. I found this uh, falling apart my uh, 12 volt you know disconnect and so I uh, got some uh, ferrules mashed them together and then I added some of these uh, you know heat heat shrink and I put two layers of that in there and hopefully that'll hold it and I did it for uh, here and there and of course the quick connects down there. Let me connect it right now. There we go. We're set. So, uh, originally the uh, 12 volt uh, disconnect, let me close this. Twelve volt disconnect uh, didn't have that uh, little wire that I've attached to it. Of course, I drilled a hole in the cap and then attached that. That stainless steel wire should last more than a week, huh? There's my Rockwood Mini Light 2205S. I have two AO lithium batteries, 12 volt, 100 amp hours. So I have 200 amp hours of AO lithium batteries. Very nice. And this is the other side of my pass-through. I have a um, Kurt Echo wireless brake control, and I keep it in here. And there's my uh, equalizer hitch. It's also in a box, pretty heavy. Super, super, super heavy. It goes right up front. And there's the uh, rest of the stuff for my equalizer hitch. Two 30 pound propane tanks. So I uh, put out the uh, awning to check it out. About six months ago, I gave it a nice cleaning. And it looks like it's staying pretty clean. Usually uh, some odds and ends, some water discoloration, some uh, hard water residue, but everything seems to be working out very nicely, very nice. So let's go inside. I noticed that a lot of uh, Rockwoods now come with better refrigerators. I guess they had a lot of complaints about these uh, GE fridges, huh? Let me turn on the light. Again, let me turn on the light here. Interior light. There we are. There's a shot of my bed before it's made. Again, this uh, GE fridge. It's not the best in the world. 
the bottom shelf broke off and uh, then it broke off again <laughs> to fix it. <laughs> it says it's over uh, about 100 degrees inside the fridge, but I leave it open like this. Leave it slightly open, that's why I put the rag there, the cloth, so it doesn't close. And uh, because sometimes it gets a little moldy. I added these little clips to lock the old uh, fridge into place and there's where they connect up to so let me show you them in action okay let me move that over, over there oh, let, me move, let me move both over there like that okay there we go let me see if it locks so one two one let's get the other one two and now the door doesn't open and uh, just constantly cycle all through that. I was wondering the last camp year, why is it always cycling? Why is it always, you know, the, the motor's always going, 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 going. It's because the door would not lock. This, the magnets on the side of this uh, budget GE fridge, and again, it's, uh, what is the temperature inside here? 101, that's all, that's pretty good. So uh, it wouldn't close. So now, let me close it like that, and it seems to be closed pretty good. This still is not perfect on here. It still opens up a little bit if you don't push it right. Yeah, but hopefully it'll, this piece of crap uh, GE fridge. So they've been replacing these with better fridges lately. Slightly better. They don't want to go, you know, overboard. <laughs> Slightly better. <laughs> Every uh, few months, while well, it's been in storage, I, every month or so, I toss some water down the toilet because it tends to evaporate. It goes down and level, then I toss some water in there. And of course, chemicals, I toss water in here also and in the shower. So, I have these TST uh, Max. This is for my uh, porta potty, my emergency toilet, my porta potty. And this is the digest that I use, a unique uh, RV digest it. And I use that for the toilet. And I use this stuff for the gray water. Lemon scent. Wow. Lemon scent. Wow. And I have this uh, toilet paper that I've had for two uh, years now. I never use it because I use rarely toilet paper. So let me give you a quick tour of my. Uh, Again, like I said in my last video, green is for boys, the salmon pink colors for girls, okay? And then we have some uh, blue in case the shower floor is all wet, we toss those on the floor. And then we have some, uh, you know, wipes and then other products here, suntan lotion, this goes on. And this is for measuring the chemicals. And this is to kill, hopefully scare away the rats and some uh, soap. So there we are. What do you think? And again, this is my, I have sequestered over here, my little uh, you know, trash container. It hangs right here and I close it and I put it right here and, I, and it has a bag. So after I poop and I do my business, I can put the paper in there. And then after a while I go, man, that's, that's getting pretty bad. So I, got, I tie it up and toss it in the outside garbage, okay? Ooh-wee. Again, I tested out the slide and the uh, you know, twin uh, Millersburg collection uh, chairs are out. I give these chairs a good solid uh, D uh, for quality. Uh, for comfort, I give them a C, but for quality, you know, they're already pretty much uh, barely <laughs> <laughs> this stuff is so bad it's not even funny so you know these folks at uh, Rockwood just give you some serious crap for furniture they don't even try so there's my queen bed I love my queen bed I love it a lot and there's one of our garbage cans we sequester stuff over here when the slides in the two garbage cans our food garbage can my other you know recycling can and then of course I have storage up here hey I can see uh, What's going on here? It looks like I didn't uh, lock this very well. Let me go over here. It's my 
So I have some clothes that I le actually leave in the RV. And uh, so there we are. Okay. Ooh wee, it's hot in here. So those are the two things I wanted to talk to you about is uh, just three things maybe. I put out the awnings and the s slides and just to check them out, make sure everything's copacetic before I head down. Let me turn on the camera so you can see my sweaty face. Thanks uh, for checking out my video. This has been Asus Manuel Menegarza. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. And please leave your kind and friendly comments below. And check out my website specific to this channel, rvta.myportfolio.com. And of course, there are memberships available. You can also become a Patreon member. Uh, that information is in the description. From Fort Worth, Texas, at my storage facility, I had to move my uh, truck because somebody just uh, came into their spot right next to me. And of course, they honked. Which is very nice of them to honk. Huh? Again, I'm in Fort Worth, Texas. Gracias. Adios. Ring the bell for future notifications. Bye bye.